So now let's look at an example for a confined aquifer and looking at how this well can help us determine the hydraulic conductivity in foot per minute. So we're told we have a well that's fully penetrated into a 50 foot thick confined aquifer and water is pumped out at a steady rate of 500 gallons per minute until the following drawdown cone of depression is formed. So we have a drawdown cone of depression that's what that is referring to and we're told the initial static water level was 100 feet before pumping so we before pumping we had this static water level measured from the bottom of the aquifer up to this point so that was 100 feet before pumping so we're asked the hydraulic conductivity in foot per minute for the aquifer is most nearly what so what we're going to do is essentially refer to the handbook we're looking at a confined aquifer then we just use the thyme equation so for co confined aquifer we want to focus on using the thyme equation and we know here we do indeed have a confined aquifer because we have this layer so we have a confining layer here or a aquitard layer so anytime we have that we know we're looking at a confined aquifer so we have drilled this well all the way to the bottom here and we know that this is 50 foot thick that's what this is referring to this is the thickness of the aquifer so what do we do we know we're using the thyme equation let's write that so the thyme equation in the fe handbook is going to be q equals to 2 pi times t we take h2 minus h1 divided by ln we take r2 over r1 so I know that here I'm solving for the hydraulic conductivity but we notice that this is not employed in any of these terms right so we have to look below that and look at the variables as defined in the handbook we know the hydraulic conductivity is related to a variable called the transmissivity so the transmissivity T equals to k this k is the hydraulic conductivity times b so we want to find k right so let's rearrange this k equals t divided by b and b here as defined in the handbook is just the thickness of the confined aquifer so in this case b is just 50 feet right this is our b this is the confined aquifer that we drill down this is 50 feet that thickness and we know here that we can find the transmissivity by using this equation so this is the unknown here and that's what we will do we will find t plug in here we know b then we can find k and we know the transmissivity if we look at this quick figure so we have essentially the top surface so we have a top surface so let's say this is our water table then we have this layer here and this layer is going to be that top layer in a 2d view it's going to be this layer right then at below that we always have that layer the confining layer so we have a confining layer here which is going to be which layer this layer from a 2d view then at the very bottom this is the confined aquifer and we know we're focusing at the bottom here the confined aquifer is going to be down here and this is where we drill right we drill all the way down here and we know the transmissivity is related to that area that cross cross-sectional area here and it's going to be the discharge through the thickness of the aquifer per unit width per unit head grading so we know it's the thickness of the aquifer we have to consider that and that's going to be B and we said it's 50 feet right in this case and it must be per one unit so let's say we're looking at English units or US units let's say per one foot and we know that's going to be the transmissivity so this is going to have units of what the transmissivity units will be foot squared per second so we're considering the amount that we have essentially that cross-section amount per second per time how no matter depending on the time we have in each case 
So that's the transmissivity as described in the handbook just by a figure here. And at the end, we know that's what we want to find, then we can easily find K. So let's do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this main equation. Again, this is the time equation. It's in the handbook. So what I'm going to do is convert Q first, because I know this is gallons per minute. And I know at the end, everything is in feet, right? Feet, feet, feet. So I want that gallons to be foot to the third. I want to have units foot to the third, cubic foot for the volume. So let's convert the Q real quick. So Q equals 500 gallons per minute. And I'm going to convert it to foot to the third. And we know one gallon is going to be 0 0.134 cubic feet. So these cancel. And this conversion is in the handbook. So I found that from the handbook. So Q should be 67 foot to the third per minute. So these units are going to be okay here. Then after that we take Q, plug in here, and we plug in all of the variables based on this figure. So let's plug in Q on the left side. So we have 67 foot to the third per minute. And no, I'm keeping the minutes because I want minutes at the end for the time. So that's okay. And this equals to 2 pi times t. So 2 pi times t. Times t. And we take h2. So now what's h2 and what's h1? So in the handbook, these are defined as the heights of the piezometric surface above the bottom of the aquifer. Above the bottom of the aquifer. So we know the bottom of the aquifer is going to be here. And the height, the first height, H1, would be what we're given here. So let's say we're 40 feet away from this center. The height H1 is going to be this height. So we have to find this height. So let me denote that. It's from the bottom all the way to the top. So we have all the way to this point. So let's call this point, point one. Point one. What we're given at point one is the drawdown. We're not given this height H1. So we need to find H1. And H2, we do the same thing. You start all the way from the bottom. And we go all the way to the top to that second point that we have. And we know this is going to be point two. So we have that. So H1 would be simply what? It's going to be simply 100, the total distance here of 100. So this total distance minus this 20 feet, the drawdown. So this is our drawdown at point 1, which is given. So H1 is going to be 100 minus the 20. So it should be the 80 feet. So we have 80 feet here. And H2, you do the same thing. It's going to be the total is 100 minus 2 feet so we get 98 feet that's h2 so for the sake of denoting r1 and r2 real quick that's going to be quite simple here so r1 is going to be always from the center so when i made this figure i should have started at the center but we always start at the center of the well that center line all the way to the point of interest where we have the drawdown in this case, it's going to be the 40 feet. So this 40 feet is R1. And R2, again, it starts at the center. And we go all the way to the second point of entrance. And we where we have a drawdown of 2 feet. So this is R2. This is R2, which is 400 feet. So we just define H1, H2, R1, R2. And then all we do is just plug in what we have. So we plug in H2. It's 98 feet as stated minus h1 which is going to be the 80 feet all of this is divided by the natural log of r2 over r1 you take ln we know r2 is what r2 is the 400 feet r1 is 40 feet so we take 400 feet divided by the 40 feet and we're done there so we can solve for t so i'm going to simplify this so we can do the math here, 2 pi times this. So what we get on top here at the right is going to be about 1 
13.097 feet times t. T is what we're trying to find. So this unit's come, come out, right? It's just feet. So that's where I got that. So if you simplify the bottom, we should get 2.303, and these units cancel. So it's unitless, and this just comes here. Foot to the third per minute. So now at the end, we can solve for t. And if we solve for t, we know the foot here cancels one of these, so we get foot squared, right? The units actually match at the end. So t, if we do the math, it should be about 1, 3, 6, 4 foot squared per minute. So now we're basically done, and then we can finally just use this relationship. k equals t over b, and that's the hydraulic conductivity that we want to find. So k equals t over b, and in this case k equals 1.364 foot squared per minute. And all of this is divided by the thickness, which we said is going to be 50 feet. The thickness of the aquifer is 50 foot. So we have that, and we can solve for k. And we should get these units cancel, so we just get foot per minute. And for that, I got about, let me double check, I believe, let me do the math. 1.364 divided by 50 so you get 0 0.0273 and the units are going to be foot per minute it's a hydraulic conductivity so that's going to be our answer and it should be C that's it. Thank you.